20 seconds to attract passers-by into your shop. So your shop really needs to make an impact. This video gives you some ideas and case studies that will help you make sure that people don't walk past your shop, but come in and buy something. And I'll give you some ideas about how to encourage people to spend with you, even when you're closed. Hello, I'm Fran Risley, and this video is designed specifically to help retailers in independent retailers in the Hereford bid to increase sales and profitability. So it's sponsored by the Hereford bid. Now, I've worked in retail all my career and for the past 30 years, I've um, worked with independent retailers, consulting and training, and I've worked in towns all over the UK. So clear signage is vital and a distinctive shop front. So this is a shop called Irregular Choice. It's in the North Lane in Brighton. Um, very, very distinctive. It shows, sells shoes and accessories and passers by and um, tourists take photos of this and post it on, me on social media. So they do their marketing for Irregular Choice. Your shop window needs to make an impact. Um, one lingerie retailer I know persuaded three of her friends to model her lingerie in a live display in the window. Um, they did this one afternoon, only spent about an hour there. Um, they drew a crowd, they stopped the traffic and they got mentioned on local radio. Um, now you might not be able to do that, but have a think about how you can make the shop window more tempting and more likely to make people stop. It sounds obvious, but you need your window to tell your story about what you sell. Is it obvious what you sell from the outside? Is this a breakfast cafe, marmalade? What does it sell? Homewares, accessories, bags? It's not always easy, so make it easier for your potential customers. How often do you change your window display? Most um, independent retailers that I've worked with change their window about once a month in a big um, change around. Um, but I'd say make some minor changes every two or three days. So, for example, um, the cushions could, you know, move, be moved from one side of the window to the other. And it would just make it look slightly different for people walking past. Make people want to come in. If you can leave the door open so it's less intimidating and less of a barrier, um, that's helpful. If someone's outside and spending a long time looking in the window or maybe taking some photographs, go outside and start talking to them um, about the merchandise or whatever. Now, you can't always um, display stock in your window. This is a vintage jeweller. Um, and when they're closed, the stock is in the, state, in the safe. They can't keep it in the window. Um, but these rainbow coloured pom-poms in the main window, and they also have them on the first floor and the second floor, really make the shop look fun and distinctive. And that's quite a good way of, of attracting attention as well. Maybe you have an A board outside your shop, or maybe you, you should have one to help just make it more obvious to passers-by. Make sure it's got your logo and your brand and it uses the colours of the same as your shop front so that people realise they're in the right place when they walk past. Um, it acts as a reminder for customers. And maybe you should have two different images on both sides of the A board so that you can turn it around so that if people walk past on a regular basis, um, they'll just see it differently on different days. Um, and it will just make more of an impact. Or maybe you can put a small sign on nearby bollards or posts to highlight your shop. And when you're closed, um, how about having a small weatherproof holder for leaflets? So people can take a leaflet, they can see what your opening hours are, and they can also visit your website. So I hope that's given you a few tips. Thank you for listening, and good luck attracting passers-by to come in and spend with you.